working to contain this Graysville fire. That wildfire has torched about 400 acres in that area. Welcome in. CBS 42 News reporter Brittany Bimmons live near Highway 78 tonight, where firefighters remain on the scene. Brittany? Yeah, that's right, Jim. There are still some hot spots over here behind me. You can see up towards the trees, and that's really what caused some concern just a couple of hours ago when it threatened these mobile homes over behind me. Now, there were about four homes here that could have possibly been in danger when that fire sparked back up just a few moments ago, and at least one of them, the people who lived here, told me they were trying to put it out with a garden hose as it came closer and closer to their front door. They called 911 and crew responded once again. They have been out here again most of the day and since this fire broke out about mid morning. Now they say right now they do not know the cause of the Graysville fire, but they do have about 80% contained right now. Still, it's been a very scary few hours for the people who live here as they have continued to watch that wildfire itch even closer. I was, everything, I was I just hope it don't get in my house and everything. I hope we don't get my brother's house down there. Now, right now, that man and his neighbors, much of the people down here, have been under a voluntary recall. I did talk to the Graysville fire chief earlier, and he said he is urging people who can leave to do so just as a safety precaution. Right now, though, again, that is a voluntary evacuation as they continue to fight this fire tonight. Live in Graysville, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News.